Have you uh, have you seen Alice? Mm, no, not recently. Huh. No, let me go look for her. Okay. Oh, good lord. <laughs> hey, Betty. So, Mary is technically sick. Immune mediated thrombocytopenia. Thrombocytopenia. Yeah. Um, it's a, it's an autoimmune disease. Yep. That's right. Yeah, her her body is basically attacking her white blood cells. That's it, right. Um. The the way we found out about it is her I was brushing her teeth, and her gums were bleeding, and they wouldn't stop bleeding. What happens with her disease is that her blood doesn't clot on its own. No. Um, so that's why she kept bleeding. We took her to two different vets. The first vet said, oh, she just bit her lip. <laughs> like, yeah. yeah. And because it's in her mouth, she probably keeps irritating it. Yeah. And it was like, oh, but that, well, that wasn't the case. No. Um, her new vet's awesome. It's not like, come on, Mary, that's not your house. It was basically just like, oh, yeah, like your dog basically has glass organs right now um, because if anything happens, she could like internally combust and bleed, like bleed out inside. Yeah. We got her fixed. We got like, we did all the testing we needed to do. Like, she's fine. <laughs> Mary has no idea she's sick. So that's, that's like a really good thing. Uh, she hasn't like been lethargic. She hasn't been sick really like you wouldn't know like the only reason we knew is because her gums wouldn't stop bleeding and we wouldn't have known otherwise she didn't have enough white blood cells because white blood cells assist yeah, in clotting yeah. and, and and it was so low her right. number was so low come on um so and we actually when she first went on the medication it bounced her back so much that we had to put her on anti-clotting medication yes. it was crazy i mean so it's just been like a back and forth for months at this point. Basically, which, ironically, we needed to suppress her immune system in order to stabilize her immune system. What are you fine. doing? But the only thing is that her medication needs to pee more. So that's the main thing. Her medication can also cause um, muscle degradation. It causes muscle atrophy. So she is a little bit more bony than she used to be. But she's doing all right. Um, and she's actually gained some muscle back. Now, the reason she has the butt patch, like this is all coming back around, is because the medication she's on can cause skin infection. Yeah. It's just like, like you treat one thing and get another thing, basically. And Pretty she's much. already predisposed to have skin infection. She just has sensitive skin as it is. Mm -hmm. So um, she just got a bad skin infection in that spot yep. she's actually still kind of dealing with some right now um hopefully it'll clear up but they they just should we shave that spot so we can keep it clean yeah and keep it taken yeah. care of it looked a lot so, worse before and now it just looks yeah dumb. yeah so she still looks good though she's fine yeah she's fine there's no problem um, i mean other than she's just a little sick but you know that's we're just taking care of it as we can yeah um, and as the vet tells us to, yep. so she's totally normal. Mm -hmm. She's totally, totally herself. But yep. she just pees more, and she pees skin's... and drinks more. Yeah, and her skin gets a little more irritated than normal. Right, Mayor.
that cabinet has the rest of their food in it. We had to block it so that Chester wouldn't get into it. That's right. I'm talking about it. Nope, knock it on the counter. Do you have anything to say about Alex or Chester? Oh, <laughs> I think Chester says it all. <laughs> <laughs>